Amid this drowning and Labor Day coming up, I spoke with Kentucky Fish and Wildlife on how you can stay safe on and in the water. Something could happen and it's not even planned, you know, it's you wear out or, you know, you get a cramp or something like that. It could happen to even Olympic swimmers or something like that. It's just better to be on the safe side. Though the recent drowning is fresh in our minds and Labor Day weekend is upon us, Kentucky Fish and Wildlife reminds us that we need to be careful on the waters at all times. Conservation Officer Hunter Muller gives some tips and reminders for the public. A big thing is just don't swim alone. You know, if you're planning on going swimming, take at least another person with you just so they can uh, keep an eye on you and you can keep an eye on them in case something was to happen. And though you may not want to, always wear a life jacket on the boat. Muller warns, however, that not all life jackets are the same. They could be made in China or anywhere, really, that you don't really know what the safety standards behind them are. So we always try to push people to use Coast Guard approved life jackets. And if you're swimming in the lake, at least have some sort of flotation device with you. He warned people to keep an eye on the weather and not to dive in shallow water. Additionally, he warns that drinking alcohol in a boat is against state law because waterways are considered a public area. You're not allowed to drink out on the water. I know just about everybody you see out there is drinking and we try to make that known that it is a public place. But if you are going to do that, have somebody else drive. Safety is our number one thing and, you know, being under the influence of alcohol or drugs or whatever, and then you mix that with a boat is just really not a good idea. Reporting in Glasgow, Meredith Scheimer, WBKO News.